Hi, in today's tutorial we'll talk about single toe foot. Single toe foot are very important and very useful for certain parts of our construction. Uh, for example, when we're trying to install zips in our garments. So here I have two different types of single toe foot. This plastic one on the left is a clip on, clip off foot. Okay, it doesn't require you to unscrew any shank from your machine. All you have to do is to remove the original foot that's on your machine with a tab of a lever, release it, and you can clip this on to your machine. So depending on whether you're trying to avoid obstacles on the left or right, you can clip the foot either to the left or the right side. So I'll show you how to do this in a while. Okay. The other single toe foot is this one. As you can see, it's a lot bigger because it comes with its own shank. So in order for us to use this, we have to remove the shank from our machine. Okay, so that involves unscrewing a knob on our machine, which I'll show you in a while. Okay, so for unscrewing of the knob, we can use this screwdriver. I'll be using both of the foot to do a sewing demonstration. So this is what I'm going to do. Here I have a zipper that's pinned to a piece of fabric. I'm going to use the single toe foot to avoid the zip coil and try to sew a stitch down the zip tape. Okay. So on the left, I will use the plastic clip-on single toe foot and on the right, I will use the metal one and we'll see the results and compare them later on. Now I am going to change to the metal single toe foot. In order for us to do that, I need to unscrew my shank. So use your screwdriver okay, and turn counterclockwise to release the screw. You don't have to take the whole screw out, just unscrew enough so that the original foot can pop out. So if you have an excess issue, just lift your foot up to give you more excess room and you can remove the original foot. You have to hold this foot this way. This screw is going to go in between the claw. So I kind of wiggle it in, okay? The screw is in between the claws. Turn clockwise to tighten. Okay. But the last bit, you should really use the screwdriver to tighten it, to prevent it from dropping out. So once you have secured the single toe foot onto your machine, the first thing you want to check is that the foot is not in the way of the needle. On our machine, we can actually change the needle position so that we can shift it to either to the left or to the right of the foot. In this case, I'll be sewing on the right side of my zip using this metal foot. Therefore, my needle has to be on the left side with respect to the foot. Okay? So I can dial up my needle position. It moves to the left. This is the maximum my needle can move. If I move the dial back down to zero, this is to the right. And you can see the foot is now in the way of the needle. So you want to avoid this. Make sure you go to the left of the foot, in my case, because I'm sewing on the right side of my zip. That's one way to deconflict uh, the needle path and the foot. For this particular foot, you can also shift the foot with respect to the needle. So there's a knob at the back where you can unscrew it by counterclockwise turning. Okay. And then you can slide the foot left and right. And once you've decided where to put your foot with respect to the needle, you can tighten the screw at the back. So here's another angle showing you how you can release the screw to loosen the foot so that you can actually push it to the left or right with respect to the needle. So all you have to do is turn th this screw counterclockwise. Once you have turned enough, the foot is actually loose to slide. So I moved it to the right and I can slide it to the left. So that's the range of movement you can get for this foot. 
Once you have decided on where the foot needs to be with respect to the needle, you can tighten the screw by turning it clockwise. There you have it. So I'm now ready to sew. I'm going to sew on the right side of my tape. As this is an experiment, I'm not going to reverse and secure my tape, okay? So that's the stitch I made with a single toe foot. So now I'm going to change the plastic single foot. So in order for us to do that, there's a little lever at the back here. I just give it a tap upwards. The original foot will drop out. I just need to place my single toe foot underneath it. Okay. And I'll just lower the shank and it clips on. You can hear a gentle click sound and it's on. So now I have my plastic single toe foot attached. I just clip it on because I'm going to sew the left side of my tape, I have clipped onto the right side of my single toe. If you want to do it on the other side, you can always release it and clip onto the left side of the foot. It really depends on what you're trying to sew at the point in time. So for me, I will have to clip onto the right side of my foot. So before you start sewing, you really want to make sure that your foot is not in the way of the needle. Okay, in this case, I am, and I have to turn my needle position. So um, I need to shift my needle to the right to avoid my foot. The needle position, you dial it down. So, so now I've avoided my foot. This is the only way you can do avoidance between needle and foot. Okay, unlike the metal one. So now I'm ready to sew the other side of my zip. If you observe, you can see that the foot is already right smack to my zip coil. It's not possible for me to go any closer uh, unless I shift the needle. That's the closest I can go. So now let's take a look at the result. On the left, it's um, stitched using the plastic single toe foot and on the right is stitched by the metal single toe foot. So from the previous sewing demonstration you saw that my plastic foot was right smack against the zip coil already and that's the closest that's about the closest stitch I can do with respect to the coil in the middle. Okay. Whereas on the right using the metal single toe foot, I was able to get really close to the center of the coil. Okay. If you look at the two foot, the plastic single toe foot has a very big footprint at the back and that prevents you from getting very close to the obstacle when you are sewing. In comparison, the plastic single toe foot has a much smaller footprint and you don't have the same problem as the plastic single toe foot. Having said that, because the footprint of this metal foot is so small, it may not have enough grip uh, onto your fabric when you sew. And you may find your fabric slipping away as you sew. So watch out for that. Because the plastic single toe foot has a bigger footprint, the chances of your fabric slipping as you sew is lower. So each of the foot has their own pros and cons. What you have to do is to pick the right foot for the job. That's all we have today on single toe foot.